Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another first impression of a new foundation from Wet n Wild and it's called Photo Focus Foundation. I've never tried any foundation from Wet n Wild so this is kind of exciting, kind of new for me. But before we get started, I'm gonna quickly switch over to me with no makeup on in like two seconds here. I just wanna remind you if you guys are new, make sure to click subscribe. I post new videos every week. I also have Instagram, Snapchat, my username for both is Trina Dura. I'm also gonna put my snap code which makes adding me on Snapchat super easy right here. So if you guys have done that, Let's go ahead and get started with the first look of this foundation. All right, so I bought two bottles of this last night. Like I just picked this up literally last night. I was at Fred Meyer in the States and a few of you guys snapped me this and you were like, have you tried it? Will you be trying it? I also saw it somewhere on like, I think it was Instagram and I screenshot it and I was like, this is what I wanna try next because it has photo focus in the title and anything like that, I'm like, hmm, I wonder what that's gonna look like. I'm in the works with trying to find the found the foundation for my wedding right now Addie laughed at me when I said, maybe it's one wild. You just never know. It only costs $5.99, but you know what? You never judge a book by its cover. Just because it costs $5.99 doesn't mean that it doesn't work good. I think that we have learned that from my channel thus far. So any hoodles, I have shades 369C in cream beige and 372C in desert beige. There was quite a variety with their shades. There's 20 different ones to choose from, which for a drugstore line is quite impressive. It comes with this type of applicator and that's a little bit different than anything that I currently own, so I thought this would be cool to try out. I'm on Wet n Wild's website and the description of this reads, it is your skin only better. Our new high performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera ready makeup every time. Specially made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin hashtag no filter perfection. The biggest detail about this is that they're claiming there is no flashback with this. So you know how a lot of foundations, usually when they have like sunscreen in them, they cause a flashback where it makes your skin look really white or pale when there's a flash use with your camera. This is claiming that that's not gonna have it. So I'm gonna start off with 369 right here. And this one is surprisingly the neutral one, which isn't supposed to have that much pink, and I am seeing a little bit of pink in there, so let's try the other one, which is more of the medium dark and warm on the other side. I think that's too dark. So that's definitely too dark. This one is close to my skin tone, but it's showing to be too pink, so I think I'm gonna have to do a little mixer -roo. There's definitely a fragrance. I can't say exactly what it is, but it reminds me of Play-Doh. <laughs> it goes on really, really smooth. Like my skin up close looks really nice. It didn't provide too much coverage with one layer. I also haven't applied any to the top, so I'm gonna use a little bit. Oops, I used the dark one. I was gonna try to use the light one. No, oops, I used the dark, okay. Just, uh, yeah, let's just mix these two. I love the way that it sets on its own. It has that really matte finish that it claimed to, but let's see what it looks like with two layers. And you can instantly see that I'm starting to get more coverage, which I dig. Oh my gosh, you guys, I, so far, am loving this. It looks incredible. It has that very gel texture that I look for in a foundation because I have more normal too oily skin and gel is usually the way to go because your foundation doesn't move. It doesn't um, wear off. And I'm just going to say this now. I could be wrong, but I think this foundation is going to work really well with my concealers. You know how some are just more compatible than the others? I'm going to go in and apply my usual concealer. Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer SX9. I'll just do it right now. I'll just quickly dab on so I can show you. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna be a good mix. Definitely has that matte finish that it was described as, but just to make myself feel a little bit better, I'm gonna lightly set it using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Medium Plus. I just wanted to give you guys a time check. It is 3.31, because I'm gonna go and continue to do the rest of my face. I do have to go out tonight. And I am feeling a little funny, a little bit self-conscious about 
the color because it's so dark and pink. Maybe I will blend it down onto the neck or wild turtleneck, who knows? You just never know. But I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then I'll show you the finished look. All right, I got my face on. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little bit funny. And I think it's just because of the amount of coverage this product is providing. It's doing a little bit of creasing in my expression line, so that's the only thing that I'm not really digging right now. And obviously the color. I totally screwed up on my end with the shades, but I do think that it's oxidized a little bit, so it's gotten darker, so just plan for that if you are going out to get your shade. And before I go, I just wanna try this out with a flash photo, which is the whole point of this foundation. So considering that my foundation actually turned out to be darker than my neck and darker than my actual skin tone, there shouldn't actually be what I'm seeing, which is a little bit of a lighter effect on my face, so I feel like there still is a little bit of flashback. But with that said, I'm going to take my camera tonight, I'll try taking a few more photos, and I'll check back with you guys a little bit later and let you guys know my final thoughts on this foundation. I think I gotta say it, new fave foundation. It is 11.20, that's a lot of hours, and I think my face looks so good. Like, I didn't touch it up once throughout the entire night, and I still have amazing coverage. I'm definitely a little bit more glowy than I was before, so I don't look as matte. You can definitely see a little bit of shine on my T-zone, but I don't look greasy. Let's get into my pros and cons to just wrap this up, because I got to go to bed. Pro number one, it looks amazing. I think my skin looks flawless and I still have the same amount of coverage that I did when I first applied it. Even around my nose, which is usually where it wears off first, on my chin it's still there, like my blemishes are still covered up, my bronzer and blush is still intact, it still looks flawless. And I think the biggest bonus about this foundation is the price, you guys. I paid $5.99 American. Buying this in Canada, I know for a fact this would be under $10, which that just blows my mind. It's a 30 ml bottle, so standard to all the other foundations I use. It's cruelty free. I know I forgot to mention that earlier. That's amazing. As for my cons, I really had to think about this. Um, the biggest one for me is the colors I chose completely wrong. Tomorrow I want to go out and go on a hunt for the right color because I need this in my perfect shade. And with 20 shades, I think I'll be able to find it or one close enough. I don't know if I agree with the flashback thing, like not having a flashback. So I looked at some of my photos. I noticed that my face is lighter than my neck. As for my complexion, it looks ridiculously good. It looks so smooth. All my friends, I was showing them what I was doing tonight and they're like, who cares? Your skin looks amazing, which I do think it does. I give this two thumb, I give this five thumbs that doesn't make sense. I give this two thumbs up. I would definitely recommend this to somebody that is looking for more of a medium to full coverage look. And I think this will be amazing if you have that normal to oily combo skin. I hope you guys like this first impression. Let me know if you guys have tried this out. Let me know if you will be trying it. I also want to hear what foundation you want to see me review next. So be sure to leave that in the comments for me. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you're new and also be be sure to check out my vlog channel. I'm gonna put a box right here so you guys can click to check it out. Subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.